As finals approach, energy drinks increase in sales, but are these drinks a good idea? Newsbeat's Katie Fawcett shows us how these beverages can give you more than just a boost. The increasing intake of energy drinks has skyrocketed, usually before major exam times. But these drinks are very unhealthy for regular students. Excess caffeine can cause elevated heart rate, it can cause insomnia, it can cause dehydration because the caffeine has a diuretic effect on the body, makes, which makes you excrete more water. Excess caffeine intake may cause coffee jitters, anxiety, and insomnia. These physical effects of caffeine don't last long since caffeine doesn't accumulate in the body. Most students consume energy drinks to stay awake and keep them alert while preparing for their exams. Pretty much to keep me awake. I drink them a lot like if I go on a long trip and when I'm driving it just kind of keeps me energized. Some of the additional ingredients like the herbal supplements can cause problems for individuals on medications or if one mixes the energy drink with alcohol. Since caffeine is an upper and alcohol is a downer, they have opposite effects on the body. Oftentimes the energy drink masks that drunk feeling, so um, individuals may drink more than they've intended to or think they can do things like um, drive or operate some sort of vehicle. If someone is looking to stay awake, there are many alternatives to energy drinks. I would recommend coffee or tea or maybe just getting adequate sleep, preparing better for um, studies by studying ahead of time. For Tiger TV, this is Katie Fawcett for Eye on LSU. Remember, if you insist on consuming energy drinks, drink in moderation.